Getting ready for the Mr. Olympia. A day before I went on stage and I was in a hotel, I ate a cookie and a bag of chips from the vending machine, which I was not supposed to do. So like now I look back and go, man, you know what? That probably made me look a little better. It probably made me help me turn pro. <laughs> did not do that. But that's what I did. Hey, what is up guys? Frank McGrath back with another video from IFPB AMA. And today is a pretty interesting one. You know, I get asked about my diet a lot, you know, over the years, known for not being the best at dieting or, or dieting uh, the hardest. I was asked what I eat like at, when I was like a kid, then when I started training, then as a professional bodybuilder, and even as now, how do I eat? I can say like, when I was a kid, being from uh, a rural place in Newfoundland, Canada, a very small place that people don't know what that is, that is where the Titanic sunk. It's off the coast of Newfoundland, that's where I'm from. Very cold place, but when I was a kid, it was a pretty basic diet, you know. As far back as I can remember, I was like the hot dogs, french fries, chicken nuggets. I mean, we would have good meals for dinner and stuff like that, but when you were a kid, lunch was like chicken burgers and uh, you know, you'd have french fries with gravy and just normal stuff, spaghetti in a can, all that kind of stuff when we were kids, just the normal stuff that I'm sure everybody in the 80s and 90s ate. But then once I started training, I had some, you know, bodybuilding magazines starting to learn a little bit about hey, you need to eat more protein. Back then, I thought eating chicken burgers, frozen chicken burgers that you get in, you know, the grocery store, I thought that was, well, it is protein, but I thought that was healthy. That on a white hamburger bun with just ketchup, I thought I was eating so clean. And I was able to stay lean like that because I was so active as a kid, oh, as a teenager. I played sports, I worked out, I ran, I swam, I rode my bike, I did everything when I was like, you know, 16, 17. Before that, I did eat a lot of junk food. Like when I was, um, God, from like, I'm trying to remember the ages, but like I'd say 10 to 14, I was, like I said, I was eating spaghetti and uh, hot dogs. Um, you know, you would go to, you'd go to the local store and get a bag of chips, a uh, chocolate bar, you know, Coke. That was my diet. <laughs> Everybody else was out partying, not partying, but you know, my friends started going out drinking and, and um, you know, dating girls. I was home playing Sega Genesis. Uh, eating ketchup chips. <laughs> so that was my diet back then. But then I started to get, a little, like I said, I started getting a little bit into the bodybuilding, uh, training and stuff like that. And uh, I did the, when I was a teenager, I would do drinking the raw egg whites, eating tuna out of a can. Uh, like I said, the chicken burgers that I thought were, you know, lean chicken meat, which wasn't. So I ate like that for a while when I was a teenager. Then once I got, I don't know, I'd say 19, 18, 19, I started like, realizing, hey, like, you know, I was eating ground beef with rice. One of my secrets back then was uh, make a uh, craft dinner, you know, at a box of macaroni and cheese. And then I would throw, I, I didn't weigh it, but I will say like eight ounces of um, hamburger meat in with it. So it was just like, and I called it Frankie surprise. <laughs> so it was just macaroni and cheese with hamburger meat inside. And that was my meal, I had that every day. But you know, I didn't have any clue about any kind of dieting whatsoever. And I just ate whatever I ate, whatever I, I could find, you know what I mean? Um, what I thought was healthy. Then I moved into a, uh, a new, this apartment that I lived on top of a pizza place. And man, I'm telling you, I think pizza was a secret back when I was in my early 20s. Uh, I would eat a whole jumbo pizza. We call it a jumbo pizza where I'm from. I guess that's an extra large where you guys are. But I would eat a whole pizza by myself and I drink a two liter chocolate milk with it. Or, when I got, uh, I, or I'd probably go to McDonald's and I would eat four meals McDonald's. So I'd have two Big Mac meals and two McChicken meals. That was my regular, almost everyday meal. This is right before I turned pro and I started to actually get really big. Um, I would do a dozen boiled eggs for breakfast and I would do a dozen boiled eggs before bed. I did that for a while. And I remember one time I actually uh, was on the last egg and I threw them all up and I cooked them all over again and ate it all over again. Oh, I would not be able to do that now. That was back when I was uh, 
do anything to get big back then. But, um, you know, I did, I did that for a while and then I finally um, learned that, you know, okay, to get ready for a competition, you can't eat like that. I didn't, I didn't know these things. And I had a local guy who competed before and, and taught me about, hey, you know, eat sweet potatoes, eat uh, chicken breast, um, rice and steak and egg whites and stuff like that. And I didn't measure any food. When I turned professional, <laughs> I tell this people's story all the time, I didn't measure my food. Um, I didn't add fats, I didn't add salt. I just kind of like just threw it on the plate and just ate it. Even when I, um, a day before I went on stage and I was in a hotel at the competition, I ate a cookie and a bag of chips from the vending machine, which I was not supposed to do. Um, but in hindsight now, I look back and go, man, you know what? That probably made me look a little better. It probably maybe helped me turn pro. <laughs> but uh, luckily my body was, you know, soaked it all up and it just made me fuller and harder and veinier and stuff like that. I do not suggest to do that. <laughs> do not do that. But that's what I did. And then I, when I was doing my first few uh, professional shows, that's when I uh, started to learn like, oh, you got to measure your food and adding fats and adding salt and stuff like that. And I think the first time I ever really, really dieted hard um, was when I was in my 30s and I worked with Honey Rambod. And I think it was the first time I was ever on like a, hey, this is what you eat this meal. This is what you, you exactly have to weigh this. And this time, I definitely came in the best shape I ever did in my life. Um, you know, I think it was the first time I ever ate like uh, tilapia and uh, and stuff like that and, and actually measuring my food and I, I, I got absolutely peeled. At the same time, even when I was doing those shows, I was having two cheat meals a week with those meals. I would do legs twice a week and every night before legs, um, Hani had me doing uh, a cheat meal and my usual cheat meal would be, I'd either have a burger and fries from like a, a restaurant, like a nice burger, like a good burger uh, with a Coke and some kind of dessert, like a piece of cake or cheesecake or something like that. And then my next cheat meal, which was only like three or four days later, <laughs> and this is getting ready for professional bodybuilding shows and getting ready for the Mr. Olympia. I go to this uh, Italian place and have um, spaghetti and meatballs. I would add a chicken breast and then I would have cheesecake and I would have a drink, you know, a Coke with it as well. And I remember when he told me this diet and I was like, are you sure? Are you sure you want me to have two cheat meals a week? But it worked for me. It definitely worked for me. Like I said, I've never been someone that uh, dieted super, super hard and never needed to. There's times I've done diets where I, um, you know, did the low carb diet. I got in shape before and that worked for me. Um, I did another diet where I was, like I said, where I was eating two cheat meals a week and doing higher carbs and I got in great shape too. So there's more than one way to do it, but uh, the way I did it was definitely a little bit easier. Luckily, um, I don't know if it was partly because of maybe it's a little bit of both of genetics. Like when I trained back then, I trained, I trained really fucking hard. And even when I did cardio, um, I was never told to do cardio easy or hard. I just couldn't help it. I would, like if I was on the stairs, I would kill myself on the stairs. Um, probably it was a little bit counterproductive eating too much junk food and having to do extra cardio. But uh, you know, it, it, it worked out and I got in shape and, I did well on almost every pro show I did. Um, so looking back now, it is what it is. Maybe I could have been more lean. Maybe I could have been sh more shredded. Who knows? Maybe I could have been inside out. But that is history. And um, the famous Frank McGrath diet <laughs> is, uh, I don't know. I, I still tell people about today. And some people don't believe me or they laugh at me. and Or even, I remember I went to the gym with my friend Dorian. Very good trainer. Trains a lot of professional bodybuilders. And I was getting ready for the Mr. Olympia and uh, we were leaving the gym. This is when we first became friends. And when I was leaving the gym after, uh, you know, we trained together for, for uh, you know, whatever we did. And I might have been a couple weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. I was drinking um, uh, peanut butter busters, they were called, at the front desk. It was just like they make those uh, protein shakes at the front desk of the, the gym. Uh, you know, it was a banana, yogurt, uh, peanut butter, real peanut butter. You know, whatever else they throw in there, man, it was a lot of shit. I don't know how I got away with it, but I did. <laughs> so, and today, I mean, I don't eat like that today. I mean, I, I do still enjoy a little bit of junk food here and there. I won't lie, but uh, my diet is not like that. Um, I used to be able to handle a lot of junk food before. Uh, not these days. These days I try to eat pretty healthy, especially for health-wise and stuff like that, because I'm not trying to be 
you know, 300 pounds anymore. Um, now it's more to, to stay in shape and stay jacked, whatever, you know what I mean? The goal has never really changed, just not competing at such a high level anymore. But uh, now it's it's, it's um, a lot healthier, a lot cleaner. Um, but I'll, I'll still have once a week or once or twice a week, I'll, I'll get out there and have something, uh, something fun to eat. But um, maybe the next video, guys, uh, I will do an epic cheat meal for you guys and show you what I eat. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Until next time.